So this stuff I've tried. Loaded with sugar. I've tried this. I've tried this. Of course, I've tried this. Everybody, I think, has tried muscle milk. I've tried this. I've tried this. I've tried all these drinks. If speed stack weren't enough, you have extreme speed stack. The supplement industry is very unregulated. You don't have to have FDA approval uh, to come out with a dietary supplement. That gives people room to come out with some, you know, lower quality products. This product says new legal formula on it. I don't know what the old, <laughs> what the old formula really had in it. Belizean man vine extract. <laughs> I don't want any part of that. <laughs> Best if used by date and lot number on bottom of can. Yep. <laughs> I always thought the health industry was about, you know, health. Why does it feel like we're back in the Wild West? It'll clean your teeth and curl your hair. The best in the West. I wouldn't be dead without a bottle. Well, we can all thank the senator from Utah, Warren Hatch. Look how good he looks. <laughs> I want to get his brand. That's what I want to do. See, the health industry is big business in Utah. They make almost a quarter of all the dietary supplements in America. And supplements are a $24 billion industry. So you do the math. Making supplements used to be like making prescription drugs. You had to prove your product was safe and effective before you could sell it. Well, the supplement cowboys in Utah thought that was a real hassle. So they asked their favorite senator to change the rules around. And now you don't have to prove your product is safe at all. And the FDA has to prove that it's not safe if they want to take it off the market. What is this red goop? This is the Canadian version of Redline. We had to take out some of the ingredients that aren't legal in Canada. Thanks to this deregulation, the supplement industry exploded, and all sorts of new and interesting people got in on the action. We, we were always a good team, good team when we, whether we were selling drugs or whether we were selling a supplement like we are now. Jekyll and Hyde supplements, you know, formulated to awaken your other side. Take this and all of a sudden you become the freak, the monster. Everybody wants to become a monster. You know, if Valentino can make a supplement, I bet anyone can do it. Hold on. How many guys you need? I need, I need two guys. We're making dietary supplements, uh -huh. and I just need a hand with, with a couple of things. It'll be really easy. All I need you guys to do is take the white, put it inside. Boom. First, you buy a bunch of really popular ingredients. But the trick is, I'm just going to use a tiny amount of each one. Oof. It's what we like to call in the supplement biz, pixie dusting. See, I can hide my secret formula behind the term proprietary blend and not reveal that it's pretty much just a pill full of rice flour. <laughs> this is a good way to make a lot of money. <laughs> Don't season the supplements here. <laughs> but with all those expensive ingredients on the label, I can make this bottle for about a buck forty and sell it for sixty dollars. Thanks, Oren. We're in the supplement business now. Okay. The scary part is that everything I just did is by the book. Well, except for the illegal immigrant day laborers. But hey, nobody's regulating them either.